Okay, take three. Y'all, this is my third time trying to make this video, but I've gotten two phone calls that just stopped my recording. Okay, let's try this again. Hi, y'all. This is So So Blessed. Welcome to the Blessed Place. How y'all doing? <laughs> I am out walking, getting my steps in, and I've already walked like five and a half miles with my mom, and then I just walked two more miles, and I'm headed back home. But as I was out walking, I looked at my email, and I got an email, and in that email, the um, someone was requesting to be my friend on Fitbit. Fitbit is the little device that I wear. It's a pedometer, and it counts your your steps and your miles. Real good thing to, to get, to keep you challenged and motivated. Well, you can have friends on there, just like you request friends on Facebook, you know, etc. So I got a friend request, and the headline of the friend request was, I am not a creeper. And this girl, and so it, it was in all capital letters, I am not a creeper. But I'm sending, sending you this friend request because um, I found you on Instagram and I find you very motivational and inspirational and I just need some motivation to keep moving. Uh, and it, just, it made me laugh because I have gotten those types of emails quite often. Uh, people will email me or inbox me and one of the first things they say is, um, I hope I don't sound weird or I hope you don't think I'm stalking you or I'm not a creeper uh, and a lot of times we feel like we have to quantify our contact with someone uh, to make them let them know that I feel a kindred spirit with you or I feel inspired by you or motivated by you but please don't think that I'm a creeper <laughs> just because I'm um, because I'm reaching out to you. And I wanna first of all, let you all know that I don't feel that at all. If you ever want to contact me, you can send me an email at asksososobless1 at yahoo.com, or you can inbox me anytime here on YouTube, or you can look me up on Facebook, Deidre Hillary, D-I-E-I-D-R-E, H-I-L-L-E-R-Y, you can follow me on uh, Instagram at SoSoBless1. You can follow me on Twitter at SoSoBless1. Yeah, all shameless plugs. But I don't feel it's weird when you follow me. I have some people here who are my blessed ones here who also follow me on Twitter, who also uh, follow me, a, a friend of mine on Facebook, who also uh, follow me on Instagram, and who also play me in Words with Friends. I love Words with Friends, so uh, you can look for me there too. But I do not think that that is weird, and I by no means ever think that it's creepy or weird. Uh, we're made to desire interaction we're made to desire human contact if you ever find somebody who does not want or like human contact and intimacy and interaction with people they are either lying number in denial or they crazy i'm just saying because we were made to desire human contact and human interaction and just because we feel a kindred spirit with someone that we never met it's not creepy there are people that I watch here on YouTube or that I um, admire from afar and I feel a kindred spirit and a lot of times they don't even know I exist most of the time they don't even know I exist and I in no way feel that it's weird now weird when you overstep your boundaries and you start stalking people you know, or you start making demands on people uh, because you feel a kindred spirit with them, you think that they should automatically feel a kindred spirit with you. And it doesn't, it's not always uh, reciprocated like that. So just, you know, just keep, you know, your boundaries. I haven't, I've never had anybody overstep their boundaries with me, but I'm just saying, as long as you keep boundaries and you're not acting like a creeper, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with desiring, um, interaction and intimacy uh, with people and especially those that you feel a kindred spirit with or either those that you admire or those that you respect or those who are uh, you find that they're valuable uh, adding some value to your life there's absolutely nothing wrong with desiring that um, there are people like I say there are people who are not celebrities there are people who are celebrity I mean I don't have a whole lot of celebrity admiration you know but uh, I will tell you two women 
who I admire to the utmost and feel a kindred spirit with and they don't know I exist in life. <laughs> and that is Gail King, who, you know, y'all know is Oprah's best friend, but I always say that's me and Oprah's best friend. Yeah, see, y'all probably didn't know that about me, huh? So, yeah, Gail is me and Oprah's best friend. And most people kind of feel that way about Oprah. I admire and respect Oprah, but I feel a kindred spirit with Gail. Y'all, Gail don't even know I exist. Another person is Holly Robinson. Uh, Holly Robinson Pete. I absolutely love Holly Robinson Pete, and I feel that kindred spirit with my Virgo sister. Now, she does follow me on uh, Twitter, and um, and I you know like we'll send her a message or whatever every now and then on Instagram but like I say I keep my boundaries I keep my boundaries but it's not creepy you know it's not creepy to desire um, interaction uh, there are a few people who are on YouTube my girl Grace Cr Grace Truth teacher that's my girl there I just have a kindred spirit with her in Christ Jesus and like she always say, holy hugs and kisses. Hi, girl. <laughs> and uh, Yvette, living my best life. Oh, my God. I love, love, love Yvette. Yvette, if I haven't called you, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. You know, sometimes you get in trouble calling out these names because then people feel like, what about me? So, so blessed. You don't feel a kindred spirit with me. Like I said, all the time is not reciprocated. Miss um, P. I mean, who doesn't love Miss P? I love, love, love Miss P. I've been watching Miss P since she was in high school, y'all. And now she's a grown woman. So there are people that I feel a kindred spirit with, and um, some of them don't even know I exist in life. Like I say, it's not going to always be reciprocated, but it's always nice to be acknowledged, though. So uh, I always try to acknowledge those who, um, who support the blessed place who encourage keep me encouraged who keep me inspired who keep me motivated who are very loving and sweet and kind and y'all oh, I, I sometimes i watch people and they say i have the best subscribers but i'm, I'm i'll be watching i'm like see you don't know about my blessed ones see y'all don't know about my blessed ones you think you got the best subscribers but oh come on over to the blessed place you're gonna find the best subscribers y'all are the best i mean I, I say subscriber for lack of a better word but y'all blessed ones y'all my friends y'all my peeps i love y'all i love you guys and i just wanted to stop by and encourage you let you know that number one i don't feel it weird strange in and none the least, if you reach out to me, if you email me, if uh, you start a conversation with me, if you follow me on all of those social media, I'm honored. I don't find it weird or creepy at, because I'm honored. I'm honored that you want to listen to me. I'm honored that you will want to contact me. I'm honored that you will seek my advice and hopefully godly sage advice. I'm absolutely honored and thrilled. And in none the least do I feel that it's bothersome or creepy or weird or strange. That's number one. And number two, don't feel that it's strange when we want, when we feel a kindred spirit to someone, when we want to reach out for um, intimate conversation and and we have and we want to reach out for um, encouragement and support and motivation. It's just that I think this weird, creepy world has made it seem odd to want that interaction with with each other to want human connection there's absolutely not only is there nothing wrong with it that's the way life should be and like i say all of this internet um stuff that should be supplemental to our, to our life that should not be uh that should not be the main substance of our life the main substance of our life should be god family and interaction with others love y'all y'all be blessed <laughs> let me get on home Put these feet up. Y'all, I'm tired. All this weight on these feet. Eight miles by the time I get home. <laughs> y'all, I love y'all. Y'all be blessed.